Hello, lovely world. Look, I know I preach, you know, the things that I want to do in the future all the time. Whether it's, you know, months from now or years from now. But I, I, I shouldn't be living like that. Because, excuse me, sorry for that. Um, you should live your life right now. What, what you're doing right now. Whether if you're sleeping or if you're doing something, going to work or anything like that. Focus on the now. Don't be like me and focusing on like two months from now for my 31st or for my 35th or anything like that. Focus on living your life now because you never know what could happen. Something bad could happen and and it could destroy people's lives, if you will. And I know I talk about this way too much, but... If something were to, you know, happen to me or happen to anyone I really care about or that I follow on social media, I would be heartbroken. I'm not, not saying I would, you know, I, I wouldn't be breathing if I had something bad happen to me personally because I wouldn't be here. But the fact of the matter is, is that, look, we're all humans and we should all love each other no matter what happens or who it is S some some humans are better than others i will i will say that but the fact is that love is love and we should all love each other because who knows what's going to happen tomorrow or happen you know a few days from now or weeks from now or a month from now we could all, you know, cease to exist. And that would suck. That would be flat out not fun. And just just remember this. There are people out there who care about you. No matter what you're doing or who you who hates you or who dislikes you or who likes you or who loves you, remember one thing. There's always someone whether it's a family member whether it's a friend, whether it's a best friend, whether it's a complete stranger or an acquaintance of some sort, they all respect you. And that's what you should take away. Look, I don't, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. We're all going to die someday. I don't mean to be morbid or anything like that, but we're all going to die someday. Whether it's when we reach old age or before our time is up. I mean, there are so many people who have made a huge impact on my life that I wish I could know personally, but I can't because that's not how life works. I mean, sure, I could meet, you know, someone who I've looked up to and, you know, and ask them questions about their life and how, you know, not like too personal of questions, just like, what's your favorite color and, and, you know, those types of questions, like what's your favorite type of food, those those sorts of questions. Because if we don't ask those questions, we're gonna we're gonna live in a world where there's just too much hate. When we all know there should be so much more love than we're giving right now. I don't expect to you know live to a hundred, maybe live to like eighty five, ninety years old. But let's be real. I don't expect to live forever. I want to live to till I reach 90 at least. I don't think I'll ever reach, you know, that age, but it would be nice to reach that age. There are so many amazing people in this world that lost their lives way too quickly before their time was up. I'm not, I'm not just talking about Kobe Bryant here. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, Dwight Clark and, you know, Willie Mays and, or not, I don't think, I think he's still alive. I, I can't remember. I mean, you know, that's, a, that's the point. I'm just saying that everyone deserves to live long, healthy lives. And when they get taken from this world 
way before their time is up, it hurts us. It it pains us. Sure, we don't we don't know them personally, but we we still send our prayers to their families and their friends and all this stuff because that's that's what good human beings do. That's who I want to be known as. I want to be known as the guy who has a kind, loving, good-hearted person. Sure, I don't expect, you know, you all to understand where I'm coming from in this video, but think about this. Someday I'm going to die. I don't know when that's going to happen. That could be, you know, 50, 40, 50, 60 years down the road. Or it could be, you know, a year down the road, or 10 years down the road, or 20, or 30. I don't know when I'm going to die. I I don't want this to sound morbid, but someday I'm going to die. And if my friends are still alive at that point, I would love for the... I know I'm not going to be able to actually know if they're there at the funeral, but the, the people that really respect you, the people that really love you, will be at your funeral. Think about that. I don't want my funeral to be like a huge procession of, you know, not a procession, a huge, you know, where there's like, like thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Sure, maybe like a couple hundred, 300 people, maybe max. But I know it's probably going to be right around the 100 or maybe even less than 100 people show up when I do eventually, you know, kick the bucket, so to speak. Someday down the road. And and I know people are going to mourn for me because that's what people, that's what good people do. That's what people who respect you and love you do. Is they show up to something that is important to you. Now, I don't know who's going to, what's going to happen in my life. I, I'm just living every day. Even though I still look to the future... I still think about what what tomorrow can bring or what today could bring because that's 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 just what everyone does they look at what today could mean because who knows what tomorrow could bring or the day after tomorrow or a week from t today or a week from tomorrow look I don't mean to sound morbid at all in this in this video everyone Look, it, it it baffles me that everyone, you know, thinks that we're going to live to be like 200 years old or 300 years old. That I mean, sure, that could be possible, but it's, prob it's not practical. Because everyone on this earth is going to die someday. And it sucks that we have to endure that, if you will. But it does happen. I don't know what's going to happen with me. I don't know what's going to happen with my best friends. I don't know what's going to happen with my family members. I don't know anything about, you know, how long they're going to live. Because I'm not sure how long I'm going to live. Everyone has their own perception of how long they want to live or how long they should live. But no one actually thinks about how long it they could live. Because that's the biggest mystery of all. Everyone has this ideal, ideal age they want to reach before they die. That's not always going to be the case. Someone, you know, someone very important to you could die or someone, you know, who you follow closely like an actor or an actress or a musician or an athlete or a family member or a best friend or a friend or someone you know that you don't consider a friend or a best friend like a acquaintance of some sort could die and you could it could really you know destroy you as a human being but recovery time is what's also important it may take a month, it may take six months, it may take a year to recover from losing someone so special to you. Whether it's a whether it's a family member, whether it's a best friend, I could go on and on and on and on and on about this whole topic. But I just want to be real with you guys. We don't know 
I, I certainly don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't even know what's going to happen today. I mean, sure, I have ideas of what could happen today or what could happen tomorrow, but no one fully understands or knows what's going to happen next. And that's what that's what's sad, is that no one knows what's going to happen. We could live our lives our our full our life to the fullest, or we could have our lives cut short because he wants us to. You know, cause it's all about what God wants for you. He's the only person that knows what's good for you. I mean, sure, you can guess what's good for you. But he actually knows what's good for you. And, and I'm not trying to get religious or anything like that. But think about it. Do we really know what's going to happen next? Probably not. I want to live a long healthy life. I know all of you want to live a long healthy life. But that's not always going to be the case. Something's going to happen to you where you... Don't know what's next. You don't know if you're going to live to see tomorrow. You are not. You don't know if you're going to live to see next week. And I'm not trying to say everyone's going to die tomorrow or die today or die next week. I'm just saying every single person on this planet has a mindset of going to reaching their 80th birthday. But not actually getting to that point. Or someone who wants to reach their 100th birthday and not actually getting to that point. I mean... Who knows what could have happened if, you know, that helicopter did not crash last week. Or if someone didn't have lung cancer or have cancer or some sort of disease that caused them to have a shorter life than they expected. It, it's, it just baffles me that we, we think that we can live to a certain age, but not realizing that we don't reach that age. That's what scares me most of all, is that I won't be able to reach my 90th birthday. I, w I might get close, but I don't think he wants me to live that long. I don't know. I don't know what's, what's going to happen tomorrow. But I do know that I want to live today. Live in the moment. Live in the now. That's all I can say for you guys. If, you, if you're ever doubting yourself, just think about this. I want to live today. Not tomorrow, not a week from now, but I want to live today. To see tomorrow. To see that next week. That's what you guys should take away from this video. Is that living your life the best way you possibly can today. Because who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. Who knows what's going to happen a week from now. Who knows what's going to happen a month from now. Or six months from now. Or a year from now. I sure as heck don't know what's going to happen for me. I sure as heck don't know what's going to happen to my family. I sure as heck don't know what's going to happen with my best friends or my friends or acquaintances or, you know, people I follow online. I don't know anything about life except for living my own and hoping that I can reach a certain age that I want to reach, but knowing it's not possibly going to happen. I could go on and on and on about this. But that's just that's just what I that's just what I think. And it may be wrong to think this way, but that's just what I think. And this is just my opinion. This is not your opinion. This is just what I think and what I think and what my opinion only matters to me. You guys can comment whatever you want. I'm just letting you guys know that this is my opinion. This is how I think. This is how my brain works. So, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great 2020. Have an amazing birthday, whatever age you're celebrating this year. And just have a great day. Live the, your life to the fullest every single day you can. I don't want to sound morbid. I want you guys to realize that life is precious. And that we should all live life the way we want to live it. Bye-bye.